WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the upside. Dow's up 239.7 tenths percent. One and two tenths for the Na S and P. That's 45 points, nearly two percent for the Nasdaq 100. 218 points there, a little over one percent for the Russell. Three and a half percent for the semis. Are up 92 points, trading out at 27.28. Gold is up nine bucks. Silver's up 12 pennies. Natural gas having a nice move out there, up 10 percent, uh, up 38 pennies, trading out at 409. That's uh, going to put in a uh, or may put in a three river morning star pattern at day's end. That'll confirm a buy the D point pattern. 30 year Treasury is flat. Trading out at 129.07. What's all that mean out there? Well, let's go take a look at that nine panel market update charts. When we take a look at the upper left hand corner, we're going to see right now that the ES mini is taking on the resistance of the top of its daily profile. And that's at the price point of 40, I'm sorry, 39.54. Close about 39.54 today, suggest a further move higher. Move, further move higher to where, Steve-O? Well, we'd have to go with the 0.6 rate retracement of the uh, high to the most recent low, and that would take us up to the 40.30 level. That's a likely outcome, especially with that spot volatility still being below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 22.99, price right now printing out at 21.53. The NQ showing some strength out there. It's flexing its muscles. It's made the 0.382 retracement from its most recent high to low. Also, right now, trading above the top of its bearish structure daily profile. A close today above 11,281 is going to suggest that there's a breakout and a further move higher. The further move higher here could or should take us to the 11,741 level, the 0.6 rate retracement of that move from high to low. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, if it does close today below 102.875, it'll negate its daily roads momentum indicator bottom so you want to watch that at day's end gold if it closes today above 1871.30 will negate its roads momentum indicator topping pattern out there silver still has a roads momentum indicator top it needs to close above 24.52 to negate that pattern signal if we take a look at late sweet crude it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile that's between the range of 71.61 up to 75.49 we're printing right now just above that at 75.80 that chart, the center one at the bottom, that's your natural gas chart. That's the large A to B equals CD to the downside. A new bullish structured profile is attempting to form. With support at 367, price ought to make its way to 477 if it can close above 398 today. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.